From ancient tribes to the modern world, people have varying beliefs about post-existence. Although science suggests it is impossible, countless stories give an insight into the afterworld. In today's videos, you will see some real-life stories about people's shocking experiences after death. First off is the story of Landon Kemp. Here is what happened after he died and came back to life. One Sunday morning in 1997, Landon Kemp, 7, was returning from church with his parents, Julie and Andy, when tragedy struck. An ambulance suddenly hit the family's car at an intersection. This accident took Andy's life right on the spot. When the rescue team got to the accident scene, they pulled Julie out of the car and started stabilizing her. At first, none of the rescuers knew Landon was also in the car. So as each minute passed, his condition worsened. But after some moments, one rescuer found a shoe. Then they realized someone else was in the car. They swung into action immediately, and after a deeper search, they brought him out. Unfortunately, he had stopped breathing. The paramedics began chest compressions until they resuscitated him. Afterwards, they airlifted him to Carolina's medical center. On two other occasions, Landon stopped breathing. The medical team had to perform more rounds of CPR. Landon also sustained head trauma and was in a coma. No one knew if he would ever open his eyes. Unbeknownst to them, during these critical times, something very mysterious was going on in Landon's inner world. As days passed, Landon's condition continued to worsen, and the doctors weren't sure he would survive. They told Julie that if he did, his life would never remain the same. He wouldn't be able to eat, talk, or even walk on his own, but none of these mattered to Julie. She just wanted her son to live. Two weeks later, Julie's wish got granted when she was least expecting it. Landon finally woke up from the coma, but something baffled the doctors. The test result showed that he sustained no brain damage despite the severity of his injuries. Miracles happen, and his case was nothing short of one. Julie was glad to have her son back, but she knew she had to tell him he no longer had a father. When she finally spoke up, what Landon told her shook her completely. He said he knew his father was in heaven. Then he told Julie that angels took him to heaven during the moments he stopped breathing. Afterwards, he said he saw dad's friend, Olin Palmer, and his son. The duo had died some years ago. Julie listened with rapt attention as Landon told her everything he saw. But the shocker came when he told her about the kids she miscarried. Julie had never told Landon that she had two children before him, so she was very surprised. You see, each time Landon stopped breathing, he had unique experiences. And the third time he stopped breathing, something happened. When he died, he met Jesus, but he came back and was given a message for the world. Landon said Jesus told him to go back to earth and to be a good Christian and also tell others about him. Ever since, Landon and his mother have continued to share their story with those struggling with their faith and battling with loss. One woman, Charlotte Holmes, also went to heaven after something happened to her. In September 2019, Danny went with his wife Charlotte, who had been sick, to the hospital for her usual medical checkup. But that day marked the beginning of a transformation neither of them had foreseen. During the examination, Charlotte's blood pressure spiked, so she had to be admitted to the hospital. Three days later, when the nurses were putting a hospital gown on Charlotte, something terrifying happened. The sick woman suddenly fell over and stopped breathing. Everyone panicked. One nurse started doing chest compression. Danny, who was also in the room, couldn't stop staring at his wife's lifeless eyes in disbelief. It was during this period that Charlotte claims she was transported to the gates of heaven. She said the moment she got out of her body, a beautiful smell filled the air and flowers surrounded her. She also saw beautiful hills, creeks, and waterfalls and heard angels singing. But these were just the least of what happened. Afterwards, she saw her late parents and sister. They smiled and waved at her. But after this, Charlotte noticed something strange. She saw a toddler boy she couldn't recognize, but he felt so familiar. This made her confused. While in this confused state, Charlotte said she felt God answering her. Then she realized the toddler was the baby she had miscarried 40 years ago. Some moments later, Charlotte looked behind and she saw what was happening on earth. Her heart broke at the sight of her husband and children crying. Just then, Charlotte said God gave her a choice. She could walk in through the gates of heaven or return to earth. However, if she chose the latter, she would have to tell everyone about her encounter. According to Charlotte, she returned to her family so she could tell them and everyone else about heaven. Since then, she has continued to talk about her afterlife experience. Hers is indeed a superb story. Up next is a similar story about a police officer, Jeff Coulter. In 2014, Jeff was heading out when he met with a ghastly accident and he blanked out immediately. 
When the paramedics arrived, they airlifted him to a hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio. Jeff had to go in for surgery immediately after he got to the hospital. But during the operation, something frightening happened. His heart stopped beating. It was at this moment that Jeff reports that his soul left his body and he saw heaven and hell. Jeff said he saw darkness and fog on the floor and ceiling. Then he saw images of demons and heard bizarre growls and laughter. But nothing could have prepared him for what happened next. He saw a younger version of his mother. In several interviews, Jeff had said his mother looked into his eyes and started washing her arms. She was washing her arm. Now that could have been them washing, moving my arm when at the I don't know. According to him, this act is his mother's way of telling him he needed to clean up his act. Some moments later, Jeff's mother stared lovingly into his eyes. And it was at this point that Jeff claims he started zooming back into his body. From that moment on, Jeff hasn't stopped sharing his experience and it has touched the hearts of many. This next story about Colton Burpo will strike you with wonder. When Colton was four, he went on a trip to Colorado with his parents, Todd and Sonia. During this trip, Colton complained of a stomach ache, but the local doctors wrongly diagnosed him with the flu. Soon, they would find out what was really wrong with him. Two days later, Colton's condition worsened, so Todd and Sonia rushed their almost lifeless son to a clinic. When they got to the hospital, the doctors did a scan on the body, and what they found was shocking. The scan showed he had a ruptured appendix. His condition was critical, so the doctors took him in for surgery immediately. While in surgery, Todd and Sonia kept praying for a successful operation. Luckily, after two rounds of surgery, Colton survived. His parents were glad that such a difficult phase was over, but soon they would learn about something mysterious. Four months after the surgery, Colton and his parents were driving past the hospital where he had his operation. Just then, Todd asked his son if he would like to visit the hospital again. This question triggered a response from the boy that his parents could never have thought of. He started by telling his parents that while he was in the operating room, he saw angels and they sang to him. His words took his parents by surprise because they had never spoken to him about angels. He also told them that when he was in heaven, he met a younger version of his great-grandfather. Todd and Sonia were gobsmacked. They thought that was all Colton saw. But some days later, he disclosed something even more shocking. That day, Colton walked up to Sonia. Then he told her he knew he had a sister who died in her belly. When Sonia heard this, her stomach churned. She never told him about the miscarriage she had before Colton was born. So how did he know? Colton then said the little girl told him about it while he was in heaven. Colton's vision became convincing after this event. On different occasions, he continued to speak about his encounters. He also said God revealed to him that his father would fight in the Battle of Armageddon. As time passed, Todd's friends convinced him to write a book about Colton's experience. Some years later, Todd published a book titled Heaven is Real. The book gives an insight into Colton's afterlife experience. One man, Dr. Gary Wood, has also shared his shocking post-existence story. Here is what happened. On December 23, 1966, Gary and his sister Sue were heading home when a disaster struck. Someone illegally parked a truck on the road and Gary crashed into it. What happened next changed the course of Gary's life. Sue sustained almost no injury, but her brother's condition was so critical when paramedics arrived at the scene, they even pronounced him dead. But something puzzling happened during this period when Gary wasn't breathing, and he has spoken about this experience in several news outlets. Here is what happened. Immediately, Gary's breath ceased. He said he felt relieved of all his pain, and he suddenly found himself in front of some gates. Afterwards, he met a 70-foot tall angel who had a sword and golden hair. After a brief conversation between the angels, Gary said he could go into the city of heaven. When he entered through the gates, he met his best friend who had died years ago in a lawnmower accident. This friend gave him a tour of heaven. During this tour, Gary also met Jesus and he gave him a mission. Jesus told him to tell people that heaven is real. On earth, the paramedics were still doing their best to revive Gary. Sue was also screaming his name, hoping he would come back to life. Meanwhile in heaven, Gary could hear Sue's cries. Just then, his best friend told him it was time to go back. Afterward, Gary was transported back into his body. When that happened, the paramedics finally felt a pulse and they rushed him to the hospital. Ever since, Gary has written several books about his experience and has continued to speak about it on diverse TV shows. What do you think about post-existence?